Hey teams, it's Alex from Super7 here with another 2 minute tutorial. In this video, we will address how to program DC motors. First, create a DC motor object. The name for the motor here is the name you will use to control the motor. Next, we will initialize the motor object from the hardware map. The name in green is the name in the configuration file. Use the same name in the configuration file and in the program to avoid confusion. Next, we are going to set the direction of the motor with this statement. You'll need to test the motor to see if it needs to go forwards or reverse in direction. This line determines if you're using the motor encoder. If you are, set the run mode to run using encoders. This also activates a built-in PID, which basically is a way for the motor to moderate the speed based on encoder readings. This PID will override program assigned powers, so make sure to run without encoders if you're not planning on using them. This variable on the right is just a good programming habit. Instead of changing the assigned motor power directly, change the variable to assign it to the motor power. Make sure to create the variable using the double variable type. In the main loop, we will control the power of the motor. We can either assign a power to the variable in the range from negative one to one, or set it to a joystick value. You can also clip the range of the var variable with a statement here to make sure it is in the required range. Finally, use a set power method to assign your motor to a specific power. If you want more information to set up DC motors, feel free to check out the hardware pushbot file or the pushbot teleop POV linear file under the external samples folder. Hey, thank you for watching this tutorial. Like and share if you thought that it was helpful and leave a comment down below what videos we should make next. And don't forget, stay super.